pregnant in Pueblo, your options are limited on where you can give birth. Late last year, St. Mary Corwin closed its birthing center, leaving Parkview Hospital as the only choice outside of a home birth with a midwife. So now two ladies in Pueblo teaming up to give expecting moms another choice. They're calling it an alternative birthing center. New tonight at 6, New Size Andy Cohen live from our Pueblo studio with more on their plan. Andy. Yeah, Robin Elizabeth, family medicine doctor Leslie Dempsey understands babies, but not so much about business. Meanwhile, her business partner, a yoga studio owner Christina McCann, understands business, but not too much about medicine. Together, they are hoping to give expecting moms in the Pueblo community a new place to give birth. And as you're going to hear, their idea is quickly gaining traction. It started with a conversation at a support meeting for nursing moms. And had the shared vision that our community would benefit from um, an alternative form of delivery, especially after the closure of St. Mary Corwin's birth unit. Their vision? A space where pregnant women can come for prenatal care and later deliver their babies with both the assurance of a trained medical staff and the comfort of a home environment. The two had their first formal business meeting just two weeks ago, only days before the SoCo Entrepreneurship Competition. Like haven't slept a lot, haven't had a lot of opportunity to sleep, really haven't had a lot of time to catch my breath. Yeah. So yeah, it's been crazy. But their pitch caught the attention of the judges who awarded them a lease on a property near Parkview Hospital and startup money for an ultrasound machine they hope to open the center in the next six months. Let the mom be in a spot where she feels like she is able to give birth um, on her own terms and in her own space. And, and for Dr. Dempsey, it's a chance to improve prenatal care in Pueblo, where issues with preterm births, maternal drug and tobacco use, and low birth weights are all serious concerns. Just the fact that we can um, catch a population of women that may have not been getting prenatal care because they didn't agree with the type offered or maybe they didn't have access or offices were too busy because we're kind of short on providers. Now, in full disclosure, I should mention that I was honored to be asked to be the host of this year's 2018 SoCo Entrepreneurship Competition. In fact, that's how I got to meet Christina. She was one of six contestants this year who all entered a uh, Shark Tank style uh, judging competition with some local venture capitalists. And I'm happy to say that all six contestants either walked away with some startup money, a real estate opportunity, or in the case of the uh, new uh, birthing center, both. Watching out for you, Pueblo. Andy Cohen, News 5.